Hey everyone there, Skylink here, bringing you another Transformers video review. Today we're going to do a movie figure, and we're going to do Autobot Ratchet, as it's supposed to be called, because apparently they lost the right to call him Ratchet. Now, I will admit, I'm sorry, but this is actually the only figure of the whole entire movie line that I have trouble transforming. So bear with me on the transformation. Uh, just to give you a little information about Ratchet, um, he's very much like his G1 counterpart, as most of the Autobots are, and the Decepticons, in that he he's incredibly brave. He is the field medic, and he doesn't really like to fight, but often he finds himself on the battlefield pick up arms for Optimus Prime. Um, he has a very strong bedside manner, and he's very caring for his patients. He doesn't just, you know, fix them up and throw them away. He makes sure that they're absolutely, positively, um, fixed up. I don't know. Would you call a Transformer fixed up or healed? Hmm. I'll let you decide that. Anyways, he comes into the movie. He is introduced along with the other Autobots, uh, minus, uh, Bumblebee. Uh, throughout the movie, he just plays a role as a soldier. He's not really much of a medic. Um, he fights in the Mission City battle, and he doesn't really get damage at all. That's basically all he does. Um, there are a few things about the movie, uh, character that differs from the actual figure that I will point out in the transformation. Um, anyways, let me just back this up, and I'll show you a figure. Just get my camera positioned nicely, because transforming it is going to be a bitch. Okay, this is him in his alternate mode. He is an H2 Hummer front, and the back is a ambulance cab? No, the cab would be the front. I mean, a uh, trailer. If you want to call it a trailer. Anyways, it is an H2 Hummer, so... Um, I don't know if they actually have these out there for fire trucks or ambulances, but it was in the movie, so let's just pretend they exist. The colors in this mode is green. He has a red lifeline uh, across the side. Um, he has fire department right here, search and rescue, the Autobot symbol around with the insignia, and it's the same thing on this side. The This figure is one of the best of the movie figures, I will admit that. Uh, the car mode, minus the little robot kibble you can see here, the car mode is just fantastic. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 just because I think they could have gone just a tad bit more detail with it. But it is a 9 out of 10. Great, great form, great accuracy. you got the grill in the front here. It just looks good. On to the transformation itself. You remove this front po uh, top pot first. And you release the sides. And get those out of the way take this back section. Now there's one thing I want to point out, and it's going to happen, it's going to happen now, is on my figure at least, I'm not sure if it's on the all of them, but this section right here comes off really easily. They snap off. So if during this review you see me putting these back on, I'm sorry, but that's just how it's made in my figure. Um, release this, and these will later become the legs. Um, let me just bring this around. I'm going to do the legs in a moment. I want to get this front top section off. Um, again, my figure is also loosened here, too. This is all my figure. I, I think I just got a really crappy one, but not other people have this problem with theirs. Take the arms or the front section and move them out like that. And take this and spin it around. Okay. Snap that down. Um, I'm going to go back to the legs for a section, a uh, second, and you take the legs and you spin them around like so. Hopefully I don't knock that off. Oh, I didn't. Nice. Okay, and again, spin them around like so. Now, here's the automorph, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. You probably won't, but when you bring this section down, you actually bring this out. So, you might be able to see it. I see it on my camera. I don't know if you will, but you bring this section out. That's like a pathetic automorph gimmick, but whatever. So these are the feet, and this is the legs. Now you're going to continue with the top section, and you're going to bring all this in while bringing this back out of the way. Here we go. Um, I like to keep these off to the side. People put them in the back. 
I keep them off the side just so that they don't get in the way. And this all snaps in once it wants to be nice. There we go. It was nice to me. Well, I'm actually doing good on this. Like I said, this is the only figure I have trouble with in the whole movie line. So, um, I'm actually doing well. I'm proud of myself. Bring the arms out and down. And then you can bring them around. Doesn't really matter. Bring this back. Part the door. Flip them back here. Yep. And then take this top section here. And you just flip it up to reveal the head. And that's uh, Autobot Dad. So, I'm just going to position him. I'm going to position him on this. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video for a second. And then I'm going to turn back on. I'm going to put his weapon on too. Uh, actually, before that, I'm just going to reveal this hand section here. Uh, if you take it out and push this in, put the hand in here, it reveals his axe. I'm going to get into that in a second. I just wanted to push that out so you're not like, where the hell did his hand go? But uh, just give me a second and I'm going to post him, okay? Okay, everyone, back. This is Ratchet fully transformed with his weapons on. Um, I want to comment on this figure. When I bought it, I actually bought it before the movie came out. So I had negative views on it because I really didn't understand it. Um, Ratchet, now I love it, but Ratchet has a very bulky look to him. Mm, very, um, if he was a Decepticon, I would want to say a monstrous look, but not so much monstrous. Um, Anyways, this is his first weapon. It is his axe. It does show up in the movie, and I believe it's spinning in the movie. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to be watching the movie again tonight. But this is his axe, and it doesn't really look like an axe. It looks more like a spade or a shovel or something like that. A lot of people don't like this. I don't mind it. It would have been better if it did look more like an axe. But, again, you do what you can with what the figure is. This is his other weapon. And on the back of the flip it said, or the back of the box it said that this is a ion gun or a plasma gun or some kind of gun. Is it just me or does this not look like a claw at all? You press the button here and it opens up. You press it again it closes. So to me it looks more like a claw than a gun. It, this is one of the few things about the figure I don't like. Um, honestly, I would rather see him have the gun he did from, uh, have in the movie, because he did have a gun in the movie, but, this figure overall, um, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. It's an awesome looking figure. It has a very bulky, dominant look to it. Even though he is the field medic, it, it, he would look like he's the warrior. Um, the only problem with this mode I have or problems is this axe could have looked more like an axe. It doesn't bother me so much. Second of all, this is a pathetic excuse for a weapon. Um, give him his gun. And another thing is his hands always look like he's posing to Jesus. You can't turn them around at the wrist. So they're fixated like that. Um, the face also, it does have minor detail, a little silver and a little red but they could have put a little bit more effort into it. Um, and the automorph gimmick was kind of pathetic. But those are just the bad things. Overall, this figure looks very nice. It's a great figure. Uh, uh, 8 out of 10, without a doubt. 9 out of 10 on the car mode. This figure is great. I definitely suggest picking this up. This is one of the... Actually, all the Voyager classes are good. Uh, well, we'll get into Blackout later, but... This is one of the better Voyager classes, but he's definitely good. He's definitely worth getting. Um, eight, 8 out of 10 on robot mode, 9 out of 10 on the vehicle mode, and I'm going to say overall 8.5 out of 10 on buying him. So yeah, definitely get Ratchet. He's definitely worth the buy. Okay? This is Skylinks and Ratchet and his axe and his crappy gun. We're going to be saying peace out for now. I'm going to do another movie review in just a bit. Okay? Peace.